Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is the Lady Zider, and today we are back with another Grasslands Mini Zoo episode. And in the first and previous episode, if you've missed it, definitely go and check that one out. We did build this beautiful art park habitat, an indoor and an outdoor habitat, which I am super happy with. But before we jump into it, I would like to thank our fantastic sponsor of the channel, Instant Gaming, because at Instant Gaming, you can get Planet Zoo, the base game, and all Planet Zoo packs with a really nice discount. And obviously, they also offer really great discounts on many other games like The Sims, City Skylines, Jurassic World Evolution, Farming Simulator, and so many other really fun games. And by buying via the website, you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel. I will make sure to put a link to their website in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it. Now, I do I have to admit something like I actually recorded this whole first part already and then realizing that I was actually not recording the game oh my goodness it, that barely happens to me but when it happens it's so freaking frustrating so yeah I do really hope that I'm able to tell you guys everything that I, I tried to explain in that first part that got lost I got a lot of questions about donation boxes and especially comments like, hey, just a small tip, just uh, make sure to, to add some donation boxes. And uh, for everyone that is new to the channel, you guys that are watching me for a long time know that I always like to hide my donation boxes around here. So we have one over here, we have one over here in the backside, and then there is one right away hidden in here in the wall. There are two obvious ones. There's one over here and one over there, which I put down later because it started to become a lot more busy right over here. So it was definitely a good one to add a few more of these donation boxes. So, uh, well, at least I did not build a habitat yet. <laughs> but I realized that my money was not going up so fast. So uh, we had some, some shops right over here that were closed. So I did hire i think two more vendors to make sure that these shops would not close too often so hopefully that is going to be covered there's still one right over here that is closed right now so i actually oh yes we are uh, researching an eastern brown snake <laughs> but i do feel like we should maybe just hire one more vendor right over here because elves, like these shops, are just not earning us any money. So it's smarter to make sure that... I, I, I think it's smarter to make sure that you have enough staff walking around to cover all these shops right over here. So let's just do that because especially the drink shop is very busy. Well, the food shop now also becomes a lot more busy. So something to, to pay attention to. But yeah, my money was a thing. So I realized, like, okay... I want to build a caracal habitat right over here with a little bit of the same idea with uh, this, like having a walkthrough indoors. So we're going to have a walkthrough indoors here as well. And then we're going to have like a big cage right over here, which is going to be connected. But I realized that the caracal actually needs a lot more space than I thought. So the caracal, two adults and four kittens need around 867 square meters of land and they also need a climbing frame need for of 243 square meters now i'm not too worried about the climbing frames even though it is a lot of climbing frame though that is going to be a challenge but yeah the the, the amount of space that i have right over here is actually a lot tinier what i had in my mind but it's all right we we can work with that but just to give you an idea like this art for habitat is 620 square meters. So we definitely need to make a lot bigger area than we have right over here, which is going to be fine. So the Caracal habitat is going to have like this indoor area right over here connected to that path that we have. And then we're going to have like this big cage area right over here, which is going to be extended. A long way to here, I am guessing, maybe even like go go straight here again to this this particular area. 
Now we're going to have like this open area right over here, which is going to be more of like a centerpiece. Like this is going to be what the guests will see once they get into the zoo. So we're going to have like this, this type of centerpiece right over here. And then we're going to have another habitat right over here, which I think is going to be the last habitat of this African region. But I'm not entirely sure about that. I should try my map for <laughs> To that. So yeah, the plans that I had for episode two to finish this entrance area is not going to work. The, the Caraco habitat is going to be a lot bigger. So then the other issue was there, the money issue. Now I did, uh, as you can tell, I did put down these exhibits right over here. And, and I hope <laughs> that these exhibits are going to bring in some money it's not too exciting animals because i want to stick to the area so we have i think one african animal right over here and these three are oceania animals because i, I think if i'm correct i am i'm planning to add the australian area right over here in this corner so these exhibits are going to be moved right now they're here but they are going to be moved. So what is going to happen is that the Caracol habitat is going to have like this indoor area or like this indoor path. Gonna have an indoor area right over here and an indoor area right over here. But this is going to be more of like a backstage area. And then when the guests move further indoor still, they enter like this, this bigger hall section with these exhibits. And I did not plan exhibits at all, but I just realized like, if you have a male and a female in here, that they are able to like bring in a little bit more money. The downside right now is we only have a male and a female in this exhibit. And these three all have only males, I think it is. Yeah, we have three males. Oh no, this one has a female. So we do need to make sure that we have the, the, the other gender in here as well. So we can make sure that we earn some more money. I did already set up the management part of it so that is all set up but the only thing that we now need are these animals so let me just check the uh, the market real quick to see if i can uh, <laughs> adopt some more other exhibit animals okay so i still need a female of the eastern blue tongue lizard but i did get a common death adder so you can go in this exhibit and this is the eastern brown snake and we can put you right in here so all these three exhibits are now covered. So the only thing that we need is a little female as the Eastern Blue Tongue Lizard right over here. Let me just check one more time. No, there is no female available at this point. But yeah, hopefully these exhibits are going to earn us a little bit more money as well because the appeal of the art fork doesn't feel super high, even though you're so cute. So I don't really understand but it's totally fine. I think we are going to be completely fine. Uh, is this one working? Yes, this one is accessible. There's even some food in here. Oh, I'm really happy that that one does work well. I, I don't really think that we actually need so much food. This one is not accessible though, but I think I'm just going to remove this one. I, I think that one is just an overkill of, of, of places where they are able to, to eat some food. I did get a lot of comments as well about the uh, aardvarks and their stress levels. <laughs> you guys are really right about that. Like, oh yeah, are you not having any issues with uh, stress? So the only thing that I am able to try to do is add these do not disturb signs in here. So one, two, three, four, five, okay, six, I think. I think this is about every everything that should be covered. We can check that right over here. Show all the do not disturb signs are now pretty much covering the whole habitat. This is all having one side of the glass, so I'm not too worried about that. These animals, wait, where are you? You are right over here. You're not really stressed. I'm not really sure if you can check this as well, but we now also have this pretty new, I'm not saying it was with the last update, or maybe it was, the predicted area visibility. But how does that work? <laughs> I actually don't know. Do I need to select the habitat? 
Oh, there we go. So you can now see with this map where the guests can see the animal. Does that change when this animal now goes inside? Or is this just in general? Like if the animals are here, then that would work pretty, pretty easily. Like this feels like super low and I don't really understand why that is because this is actually a lot... Uh, it's it's behind glass. Oh, look, look, look. They're, they're drinking some water. Oh, I just absolutely love it when they use this. I, I think the stress is going to be fine. The other thing that we can try to do is actually add some, some speakers here with the ambience. So if I just select this one right over here. Uh, what can we do? I think we should go for the desert at night. And just add a few of these just right over here although this is not really going to help with the stress levels because they're not really stressed when they are inside so it's just for the idea i guess should we also just add them right over here there is there anything else that we could maybe add like i'm not entirely sure if i want to have the desert at night right over here as well and their water swamp jungle rainforest jungle at night Birds of the jungle, maybe just the crickets. So if we just add, wait, I'm gonna add you here for just a second. Uh, one cricket right over here, some crickets right over here, some crickets here, crickets around here, and uh, crickets around here. It's 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 a debate. Like some people think that the speakers work. Some people uh, say that they did see like this tip that these Amian speakers do work against stress because it is like a recognizable audio from, from their, their original biome or something like that. Uh, and some say they don't do anything. So I still don't know whether or not they do work. We're just gonna wait and see. We're gonna wait and see. We, we added the do not disturb signs. We added the speakers here. That's all we can do for these animals to not get stressed. And if they do get stressed, well, we, we have a problem here with the art parks. However, I do think that with this indoor area, I think it's going to be fine. As long as you go and eat here, your, your stress is going down. You don't seem hungry though. You do not have a message. And now you're going to run inside real quick. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure guys. Maybe you guys are right. Maybe the art parks were not like the best animal. Although, like right now, it's the only animals. So obviously all these guests are going here. Oh goodness. Okay, there's a lot of litter right over here now. Okay, I'm going to add some some trash cans around here. I think this should be enough. Should we just add one more caretaker here as well? Okay, maybe let's do that. So yeah, in order to oh let's check the exhibit real quick yes yes perfect sent to you you can go in here perfect okay all the exhibits are now set up so hopefully they will get a little bit more money in because and that was the other thing like in order to be able to add these exhibits right over here i had to get another loan <laughs> so i actually took the 50k loan made this i put this on zero and then it will show like the lowest interest possible and i repaid the 20k loan that we got in the first episode because i was like yeah well i'm just not able to build this caraco habitat at all if i do not have any money so to get the zoo going i, I think it's pretty realistic actually i mean if if people want to build a zoo or like in real life people want to build a zoo they probably will will have like this business plan and like have a big loan to to to, to build the zoo i mean I, I can't imagine something like that unless you are like super rich and like you just have the money but other than that i feel like taking a loan in the beginning to start building your zoo and then repay it it actually doesn't feel super super wrong even though it does feel like i'm failing already <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> anyways Without further talking, let's just go and start working on the Caracol habitat and uh, let's see how this is going to look once we also get like the exhibits in, in the right spot and stuff. Gosh, it's such a mess right over here, but <laughs> we're going to make this work, guys.
I don't know exactly what zoo it was from, but I tried to find some inspiration and I did find like this caracal habitat with this, this kind of, how, how do we call it? A window, I think. And I found it so cool. And I tried to, to simulate something like that. In, oh, sorry. <laughs> in Planet Zoo. And it looks so fabulous. Oh my gosh. I, I just feel like I've never seen anyone do this before. <laughs> Although I don't really track that many other, other content creators. Also, to avoid doing like anything similar or like, like I don't know. So, anyways, I just really feel like I invented something new, at least for myself. I think it looks so extremely cool to have, like, the, these these double fences, some space in between to make sure that the guests would not put their fingers through it. I'm not really sure if they would. Look at that beautiful black caracal, by the way. Let me just have a look at you. Wow, you are so beautiful. Oh... You are really special. I, I don't really like you floating here, but we just pretend that is not the case. For this interior, I also try to stick a little bit with like the desert theme. The outside of the habitat will be uh, a bit different though. Oh, look, here you can see the donation boxes. So for everyone being like, hey, you should add some donation boxes. They are again hidden here in the walls. Okay, let's continue right over here. So um, I'm not entirely sure about these uh, tree signs because, mm, I don't know, I tried to add them to, to give the idea maybe of a little bit of, 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 of some wall painting or something like that, uh, but I'm not sure if I will keep them. I added these speakers here in the sky just to make sure that I'm able to move them if I want to because we are not completely done yet. So right over here, I also tried to play around with these trees right over here again i just how do you guys feel about them shall i keep them or shall i remove them how do you guys feel about it i'm not entirely sure and the palm tree right over here and uh, we have some more educational signs here and uh, this one this is a, this is also round shape but then like the same round shape as we did with the art vargs but then different because this is like eh, i don't know i just really love this it's so cool and then you have like these chain link fences right over here I think it works so well. I think it also. I, I actually do want to check, like the map that we just checked. So that would be habitat, and then the visibility. Where was that again? The habitat predicted area of visibility. You. Oh wait, I need to select the habitat door. Okay, I'm really still figuring this out, guys. I, I don't really understand why this indoor area does not have a visibility at all. Like, the caracal is indoors, so the people should be able to just see the caracal from here, but yet it is, like, super... Like, this is super busy area, and I do understand now because this is, like, a better visibility for the caracal, but it doesn't make any sense to me. If you ask me... I think Frontier definitely needs to work a little bit more on this feature because I think it can be super useful. But if it doesn't work for like these indoor areas, it doesn't make any sense to me. So that is definitely a thing. But yeah, I am really, really happy with how this is looking. We have a... Oh, this is like the water. Oh gosh, why did the Keeper not fill this yet because if this is not filled these guys will get thirsty you're not thirsty just yet are you no you're not okay they have a 91 percent welfare I, I as you can tell the we only did the indoor area because i think this whole area took me around six hours or so to build so i was like you know i'm just going to 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 split this off into two episodes and then and then the next episode we're gonna work on uh, on these exhibit areas as well I actually thought, like, what it would be cool, like, I mentioned in the, in the first part of this video, there is going to be, like, an Australia area right over here. So, to, to create, like, like maybe this, this pathway right over here would then go right into Australia, and then they go outside and they go into the Australian area. I think that's actually not a bad idea. I think that could work, so we decorate this particular area more Australian and, and this building is, is more of Africa. I, th I think that can work. 
also, this is really cool, but I did not... This is this all still needs work. So this is like... Uh, how you say that? An, an underpass for the caracal and the guest. Or no, not the guest, the staff, I mean. So they can walk right over here, go underneath here, and then we're going to have like this, this backstage staff area right over here. And I actually first also had some... Um, can you still see that? No. I also had like these little windows. Why are these guests standing here now? Can they can they really see from here better than where I added the chain link fences? Well, they are looking here. <laughs> I mean, that's something, but it does not really look blue to me. Maybe very light. Not in, oh wait, it does look a little bit more blue if you stand here. Then it does look like very light blue, but you can barely tell when you stand when you stand there. So I'm not not really sure what that is. Okay, this is like extremely busy right now. If only we had one way path, that would be just super amazing. But again, like we are really in the beginning of of, of building this zoo, so I do feel like as soon as we're going to have like a path right over here and like destinations right over here. This is all going to vanish at some point. Like, all these people now want to go back because there's just nothing else to go, you know what I mean? So yeah, obviously, there are now people wanting to go here and going back here. So it makes total sense that it is now just extremely busy, but it, it's going to be fixed in a later stage. Again, I added like these, these glass ceilings because I just don't know. I just really love the look of it so much. I had my doubts at some point because I thought like maybe we could do something with chain link right over here and then I was like, yeah, you know what? Hi, beauty. We're gonna have a lot of chain link on the outside as well. So, oh, they're so beautiful, aren't they? So I think it's gonna be totally fine. I do hope that this one will be filled very soon. Oh, oh, talking about keepers. I don't think, did I hire another keeper? We have one keeper. No, one keeper. We. <laughs> We don't have a keeper here. <gasps> oh gosh. Okay, new work roster. We're gonna have uh, this one in the work zone and then they need to go here. Okay, so everyone was like, oh yeah, you can now change it. You can't click here, but you can click here. Y you can? Oh yeah, <laughs> you can. Okay, Caracol Habitat. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so uh, as long as you say, yes, it is saved. So now the only thing I want to do is add the keeper in the caracal habitat. But we also need another keeper to make sure that you are going to attend these exhibits right over here. So if we just make sure that we do this, we are going to attend exhibits. And you would probably would love to have something a little bit more nearby. Well, that is actually something I, I, I think I want to do. Like... We're gonna have a lot of buildings right over here. There's gonna be like this, this underpass for the for the entrance as well. I think I'm going to move this information stand to right over here. And then that leaves us with a little bit more space to maybe add like a real gift shop or like we pretend it is a gift shop, but we're going to have like maybe like the counters right over here. And then we're gonna have a cute little gift shop right over here. Maybe we will move the toilet or something like that. We, we can still have one information stand right over here in the corner, maybe. That, that could definitely work. Like, it's pretty busy right over here. So, I think that might be a good idea. But yeah, we're definitely going to play around here more with buildings and connecting it with each other. This is going to be one big building in a later stage. So, that is definitely going to be a lot of fun. Oh, man, there are so many things I want to do, and I don't want to rush it. So that is also why we are playing some foundation on the channel right now. So I absolutely do hope that you guys can appreciate that other series as well on the channel, which is going to give me a little bit more time to work on uh, on this series as well, because I just really enjoy Planet Do, and it's just so much fun to put in the time and effort to, to make everything look, look nice and pretty, and hopefully to inspire you guys. So yeah, 
do let me know in the comments down below what you guys all think of this indoor caracal habitat that we build. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already. And also of course stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to finish this habitat and we're going to work on the exhibits and then the entrance area and uh, so much to do. Hopefully you guys are as excited as I am for this series. Please do let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to check out Instant Gaming if you're interested in grabbing any Planet Zoo packs with a great discount. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!